Hi, Juan. Hi. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Very good. How how was work today? Uh, it was good. You said it was good. It was good. Mm -hmm. It was good. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Very good. Uh -huh. We have a lot of work actually, so that's why uh, I'm I'm late. Mm -hmm. That's okay. That's okay. Don't worry. It's uh, you were only like a minute, I think, late. So it's not it's not a big deal. <laughs> Don't worry. All right, one. I think we were on slide seven, right? Because we did slide six. How do you feel? Yes. Huh? How do you feel? I feel okay. I'm I'm a little tired today, but that's okay. But I feel more or less better than than. Then this morning, this morning I was like really tired, but I have some tea and now I'm feeling a little better. I ate some food and yeah, <laughs> just chugging along. I had about. What is, mm -hmm. what is the purpose purpose uh, of the, you are in, in Ellen? In, of the in, dehumidifier? Mm-hmm. Um, it helps keep your vocal cords and your throat okay. um, yeah, more more moist because um my because i would speak all the time i'm talking like constantly my throat hurts or my vocal cords get tired and um this helps with with kind of soothing that that pain a little bit mm -hmm. okay yeah but you feel you feel good i feel okay yeah i feel okay today uh-huh Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a normal day <laughs> with lots of work. Yeah, but yeah, this helps with with. Um, it can also help depending on what what oil you put. You it can help with like headaches. Um, it can help you focus as well. Different smells can can help trigger your brain to do things. But this right now is more for my my throat because um. Yeah, lately my vocal cords have been very, um, I guess I've just been overusing them. So they get, um, they get, it gets kind of sore and it can be harder for me to talk sometimes. It's, my voice is a little more, we call it like raspy. Mm -hmm. Raspy, it's como ronca, raspy. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, so this helps with that. I don't know how much, but yeah. I, I'll try anything at this point. <laughs> okay. But how do you know that? How do I know what? Mm -hmm. uh, about the, I don't remember the name that you use. Yeah. The dehumidifier or the infuser. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I've, I've done research. Yeah. On it. And I've had this for a long time. Okay. Online, online or, or with, someone um online also yeah mostly online i think yeah mm -hmm. uh, and you are you trusting that of things on those of things those of things it, yeah. uh, do i trust these things do you trust yeah um yeah mm -hmm. okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> i wouldn't be using it if i didn't yeah <laughs> Do you not, do you not, um, or tr I guess trust, yeah, I guess trust could be a good, I'm trying to think of another word. Confiar. A confident and, and that helps. It's like, do you have confidence in things like that? I see. Things, things like what? Like a dehumidifier? No. Or yes. A dehumidifier? Um, yeah, of course. Uh-huh. This type of technique's been around for a long time too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because in the internet you can find, uh, como es, whatever or everything. Mm -hmm. No, area is not whatever. It's everything, mm -hmm. and sometimes that or those things, they are not, uh, real or, yeah, verdadero, true. They're not true. 
Um, I I feel like a dehumidifier has been around for um, Can you tell me a while. with how how I need to, the typing? Spelling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or or the word. I don't know the word. The words. Uh -huh. Dehumidifier. Did you meet fire? Uh Did you meet fire? -huh. Dehumidifier. Mm -hmm. Dehumidifier. Did you meet fire? Uh -huh. Okay. Or an infuser, right? It kind of filters the air or... Um... Mm Dehumidifier. -hmm. There's dehumidifiers. Hmm. There, um, yeah, infusion... with oils and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why, why fire? It's weird because Sit. termina con fear, como fire, no, es como fear en lugar de fire. Mm -hmm. Because fire is fuego, Uh the sound, fire, como or you are fire. -huh. Uh, but in this case, it's like fear, but you, you need to say fire. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. It's a little weird. <laughs> Yeah, that's just, uh, yeah, some English words are, I have no explanation why they, <laughs> that's just, it is how it is, right? And fire, but fire is spelt differently than F-I-E-R, it's F-I-R-E, mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And the, the other word is fair, but it's different. Fair, It's... como F -A or F -A uh, I R, fair, it's como No, it's, it, you pronounce it the same one. You pronounce it like fire, but it's spelled differently. Mm -hmm. So dehumidifier. okay. Mm -hmm. fire, okay. Yeah, it's, it's pronounced the same. The spelling's different, though. Mm This hmm spelling. Yeah. But, yeah, that's, I, I don't, couldn't give you an explanation on why it's pronounced that way. It's just the, the way it is pronounced. <laughs> I can't give you a rhyme or reason for that, but. Very good. Okay, let's look at our vocabulary practice. So here we're going to read each sentence and then rephrase the sentence using the word in bold. So okay. candidate. Mm -hmm. So we'll read the fir sentence first and then we're going to rephrase it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, he is one of the people interviewing for this job. Mm hmm He is one, no, he is a candidate. You could say he is a candidate or one of the candidates. Okay, he is one of the candidates for this job. No, candidate interviewing for this job. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, number two. I have. a variety of abilities, including being able to speak three languages. Okay. Okay, I have a variety of skills, including being able to speak three languages. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, number I was the floor manager at my last job. Okay. I was the floor manager In my previous job or three. at Mm my previous job? -hmm. At my previous job. Mm Okay, -hmm. at my previous job. Okay. Good. Uh-huh. She usually performs many roles around the office. Okay, to wear many hats. Okay. Okay, she usually wear many hats around the office. Very good. Wears, right? Wears Where? many hats. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's She she. Mm -hmm. usually wears, Mm -hmm. yeah, you're right. Wears many Very hats. good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Super. All right. And number five. Uh huh. I have worked in the field for 15 years. Okay. I have experience in this field for 15 years. Yeah, perfect. That was great. Super. Okay, let's look at our next one. So tell me about yourself. Most interviews begin with the employer asking you to describe yourself. So what you're going to do is you're going to describe your past experience in, in your industry, the working industry you are in now. 
and then explain um, your current role and then transition into future goals and why you're interested in a, uh, maybe a higher position or moving up right in the office. So let's look at these examples. Let's read these first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need, do I need to read the example? Yeah. Uh -huh. I, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. I have the resu no, resume. Resume. Mm -hmm. Resume. I have your resume in front of me, but tell me more about yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Walk. Walk me. Mm -hmm. Walk me through your experience. Experiences. Experiences. Mm -hmm. Good. I'd love to hear more about your journey. Journey. Okay. Mm -hmm. Journey. Journey. Mm -hmm. Journey. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about your background. So is the mm, there are a lot of ways to ask uh, mm -hmm. when you need to know more about some someone. Or yeah, about this is, so this is yeah. like prompts from this thing that I read earlier. So this is like a point of view of a boss or the person that's interviewing you. These are some things that they'll say, like, I have your resume in front of me, but tell me more about yourself or tell me a little bit more about your background, right? These are typical questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now you are going to do what I, I had read this earlier. So you're going to describe yourself. Mm -hmm. in your position, explain your role, and then your future goals. Okay, first just describe your past experience in the industry. Mm -hmm. I, I started in this field seven years ago. Um, I started like a junior in, in my, in in this kind of role, mm -hmm. and the scope of your current. Now I have uh, more um, more tasks. Uh -huh. More tasks, more okay. responsibilities. Mm -hmm. More responsibilities. Mm -hmm. But I would like to to achieve other level in the in my career. Mm -hmm. So my goal for the next year is um, change my uh, mostly my mostly uh, role. Mostly is principal, principal or solo is principal. Um, not most, not mostly. Um, um, your current role or your role right now? No, but what's mean mostly? <laughs> mostly is an adverb. Uh huh. Yeah. So mostly my, you can't my use name. my mostly role. That doesn't it doesn't really make sense. But yeah, you can no, say I, main. I mean my mostly goal. I said my mostly goal. N not yeah. You wouldn't use mostly um my my top goal or my my. Number one goal is, you know, my main goal. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's an adjective. So, entonces mm -hmm. debo decirlo antes. Mm -hmm. How, how, ¿cómo se dice? How can I use mostly in a sentence? Um, let me think. Um, but anything but not what, how you're using it now. Definitely not that. Um, in a sentence. You would want to say mo main, your main goal. She kept okay. mostly to her room. He was mostly dead when he fished him out of the bay. Um, mostly she was trustworthy and accurate. Mm -hmm. Okay, my, my main goal for the next year mm -hmm. is, is change my, my role to mm -hmm. automated testing. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm looking for this kind of position for for uh, a new experience. Yeah, mm -hmm. 
small experience or new experiences. Mm -hmm. I actually, I have been working for almost seven years just in manual test for uh, just uh, yeah functional and manual test. But I'm looking for a uh, opportunity in automated testing. Awesome. Very good. Excellent. So with that too, you could say I'm interested, like when you say, um, instead of like want or, um, a good word to use is interested. Like I'm very interested in this position because et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Excellent one. Okay. Let's look at our next one. So let's see, tell me about yourself. Um, Imagine you have an interview for your dream job. Explain the position to your tutor and then answer the questions. Tell me about yourself. So if you had a dream job, what would that be? Mm -hmm. My dream job? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do I have a dream job? <laughs> yeah, I have. No, I, I love me, my, my current job. Yeah, but I would like to, to know more. Like, I I like uh, to write code. That's, mm -hmm. I enjoy when I do uh, that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So that's, uh, I would like to to work in uh, automating testing role mm -hmm. or position. Mm -hmm. it's ex explain the position to your tutor. Yeah, uh, I would like to work in automatic testing because I like to write code and mm -hmm. it's different because your role is completely different. Mm -hmm. You always are creating uh, new scripts. Mm -hmm. Creating. And uh -huh. Creating and it's more uh, funny. <laughs> It's more fun. Mm -hmm. It's more fun. Mm -hmm. It's more fun. Mm -hmm. um, I enjoy it. Very good. Uh, than just execute test cases. Super. Excellent. Okay, let's look at this. Um, we've already kind of went over the past in industry. Um, you've kind of already went all over this, so we don't need to repeat this. Mm -hmm. Um. That's kind of repeating itself. Let's get that. Um, job interview preparation. Is this too small for you to read one or can you read that? I can read it. Okay, super. Job interviews can be stressful, but as with many stressful e events, events mm -hmm. preparation can help. Talking the others in the field or even friends can help you learn about other people's experience. What do you do to prepare before, before a job interview? <laughs> okay, what advice would you give to a friend who was nervous about a job interview? Mm -hmm. <laughs> In the first question, uh, usually I'm busy. That's very common in my current job. You usually say that again? Mm -hmm. I'm busy. I busy. am busy. Mm -hmm. Busy. Mm -hmm. So I never, pre uh, how do you say, I never prefer, prepare myself? No, I never, prepare. Pre uh -huh. yeah, you said it right. I never prepare myself for job interviews. For job interviews. Because I don't have enough time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, I have to work today and tomorrow I have an interview and I have a lot of work and the next day is the same, so I don't have enough time. But yeah, yeah, you need to prepare for an interview maybe one or two, two days before. Mm. Yeah. You need Very to... Good information from the company mm -hmm. for your role for the for your of your current current role and the new role who are you applying applying mm -hmm. 
-hmm. the new role you're applying for. Mm -hmm. You're applying for. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Okay, the second one. <laughs> what advice would you give to a friend who was nervous about a job interview? <laughs> I... How is it? Yo le diría. I would say. I would say, yeah. I would say. <laughs> you, you are not nervous. How <laughs> say No estoy nervioso. You're not nervous. So just tell them they're not nervous. <laughs> just that. Now, mm -hmm. maybe my, my advice is, uh, it's like the first question. You need to, you need to be sure with the things that you you will uh, you are going to respond for the questions of the, how to respond to questions mm -hmm. how prepared. to respond mm -hmm. how prepared uh-huh very good so you just need to be sure that you are prepared right you did you've done your research you need to do research on the company, right? The new company. These are good questions. Yeah, these are great. Mm -hmm. These are great to help with with um, the business aspect of English, right? These are these are great lessons. Very I, good. I, I need to prepare my my answers in this kind of questions. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't thinking mm -hmm. uh, in in this topic, and maybe the next year I will start. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you say to looking to look? I will start looking. I will start looking to change my current job. I will start looking for an, a new job, right? A for a new, new job. job. Mm -hmm. For a new job. Maybe the next year or in 2024. 20, 20, mm -hmm. I don't know. It depends because, you know, now we will have a baby. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you have this kind of responsibility, you don't want to, to have risks mm -hmm. yeah so, you don't. I need like risk know. of losing your current job or risk in in what sense do you mean risk for example uh all the changes mm -hmm. they have a risk so maybe mm, you can uh get fired como se dice eso de yeah that, you said it right no estás a la altura if you don't have the necessary in in the new position so it's, it's a risk i i think yeah so your th like possibilities of you getting let go or fired or something like that um yeah there, i mean there's yeah there's always that risk for any job right of losing it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, let's look at this last one. So we have tips before an interview. Can you read these tips, Juan? Yeah, make sure your resume. Could you get me again, please? Yeah, you got it. Resume. Mm -hmm. Resume is resume. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure your resume is updated mm -hmm. and up to standard. Okay, mm -hmm. practice answering possible interview questions. Research about the company, okay. Choose proper and formal clothing. What's a proper is like apropiado? Proper is like, um, yeah, appropriate, just proper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apropiado. Uh, not like this. <laughs> yeah, like something more professional, right? Business professional. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Be mindful 
of interview etiquette. Mm -hmm. What's mean mindful? To know, right? To be aware. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of interview etiquette. Mm -hmm. Can you help me in Spanish this sentence, the meaning? Oh, I'll, I can translate it. I'm not too sure. Hold on. Mm -hmm. We mean mindful. Okay. She's just, like to be aware, to know, like not to talk over the person, um, giving you the questions, giving appropriate pauses, right? You don't want to be um, to, you don't want to be, as we would say, you don't want to be rude, right? You want to be mm -hmm. um, respectful. You don't want to over talk or talk over the person. You don't want to like be blowing your nose or, you know, doing something that's um, maybe inappropriate, right? In front of the interviewee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. Uh -huh. One call, it, it was mm -hmm. in, how do you say, una llamada estaba entrando. Say that again. Uh -huh. Una llamada estaba entrando y dejé de escucharte. Okay. Oh, you had a call. Uh huh. Yeah, I had a call. I had a call. That's why I didn't hear you. For, uh huh. So for it, it's yeah, it's just to be um mindful or to know not to over talks on some if someone's talking. Right. Don't interrupt. Don't um maybe try not to fiddle with things or not look at the person, right? You want to have eye contact. You want to be dressed appropriately. You don't want to say maybe something inappropriate or blow your nose or do distracting things, right? This is kind of etiquette, doing things that um, that you should, you know, during an interview. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the next one? Sure. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you think, no, <laughs> arrive 15 minutes before the interview time? Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, these are all the tips. Did you understand that you had wanted to translate? I translated that last one or the second to last one. Does that make sense to you? The practice answering possible interview question? No, the be mindful. You were kind of hung up on this. You said like you didn't really understand it. Do you understand this now, Juan? Mm, it's, it's more clear. It's, yeah. Say that again? Uh-huh. No, sorry. Be mindful. More or less. <laughs> okay, so you, you understand that. Could you repeat me, please, this part? Repeat what? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the meaning. Okay, in... so it's, it's, um, so yeah, so when you're in an interview, like etiquette is like doing things proper. Don't interrupt someone, don't talk okay. over the person, dress correctly, don't fidget with your fingers, eye contact. This is kind of like an interview etiquette, right? Okay. Doing all of the things, you know, that you should. You should know it, right? You probably know how to act during an interview. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at this one. We have weakness. Mm -hmm. Okay, example, micromanaging tends to be one of my weaknesses. Weaknesses, uh-huh. Strength. How mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I see punctual. <laughs> Punctual. You're punctual. punctual. You're on time. Yeah. yeah. Punctual. So my strength is. Mm -hmm. My strength is punctual. That I'm punctual. Uh huh. That or that I, I arrive. At okay. That I am punctual. Uh, dedicated. Dedicated. Uh huh. Um, oh, we don't have time. <laughs> yeah, we're about to run out. So I'm going to put slide 12 and we can continue that tomorrow. Okay. Okay. All right, Juan. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Hey, bye -bye. Take care. Bye -bye.